Hey folks, welcome back. Uh, today I have a variation uh, viewer request. I am playing Factorio, but I'm playing Factorio with a modification. The modification that I'm running is the Ditech mod. Now with the uh, the Ditech mod, what it does is uh, it makes the game a lot harder to start out with and uh, adds a lot more complexity as far as things that you can uh, craft. For example, uh, if we take a look uh, right here, for example, uh, you start off with just uh, the wooden axe. And then once I believe you get uh, into making steel plates, or not steel plates, iron plates, it opens up the iron axe. And then when you're able to uh, make steel, uh, then of course, you know, it opens up the, uh, the steel axe. Uh, and there's varying degrees beyond that that get quite a bit quicker. Uh, but it's not just about the axes. I mean, obviously, uh, I have a standard boiler. There are upgrades to that as I progress tech-wise. Uh, you'll notice that there's three different steam engines. There's the, whoops, right there, primary, secondary, and then a tertiary. Um, and then um, we have Ditech bundles that, uh, you know, bundles of steel and stuff. Um, we've got uh, the gemstone uh, technology, uh, you know, adding uh, topaz and sapphires, those are in the world. Um, also, we have uh, different uh, Ditech machines, uh, like a coal collector and gemstone collector, uh, iron foundation, uh, and then uh, our basic uh, Ditech inter intermediates here. Uh, for example, there's a stone gear in uh, combination with, where is it? There it is. Oh, where's my iron gear? Um, oh, there it is. Sorry. <laughs> There's my iron gear. Now, I have to admit, I have been uh, somewhat frustrated uh, with the mod at the moment, and it's purely the learning curve frustration. Um, you get used to one thing, and then you have to transition, and it, it's quite difficult. So, for example, if you take a look, the, uh, the red potion, which normally is uh, iron gear, and I believe copper plate. Um, don't quote me on that. I'm still memorizing straight Factorio. Um, but you'll notice this one is copper plates and stone gears. So with stone gears, uh, again, a little different. You just have to take stone and put it into a, uh, a factory. And I'll, I'll show you something I have down here where I'm making uh, the red ones uh, automated. I just have my stone coming off. And then going into a level one assembly machine, uh, making stone gears, and so it's popping out the stone gears, and so on my factories I have both the uh, the copper bars and the uh, the stone gears being pulled in. I'm using the long handle. I had them on the same conveyor, and uh, I I just reworked this shortly, and then of course you know it pulls off the red, puts them on this conveyor, and pulls it down to my uh, my two factories here. Uh, I have some, so let me plunk those in. All right, so when I, uh, I wanted to go to make the second level, now you, in regular Factorio, you may remember, there's only two levels of the, um, what do they call these? Not potions, uh, science packs, sorry. There's only two levels of science packs. There's the red and uh, blue, right? Okay, well, this one has multiple levels as well. So we have regular science packs, which use the stone gear, so there's more use for stone than just for walls, like in standard Factorio. But then you also have, uh, in this case, this is our secondary. And you'll notice for a secondary, I have to make transport belts and inserters. That's what it, you combine those two things for the second science pack. Kind of blew my mind, I'll be honest, when I uh, first went to make them. So what's the raw materials there? Well, we need stone. We need the iron, and we need the uh, the copper. But it's not just the copper. So for packs number two, uh, we needed uh, copper wire. So I have to pull my copper bars, put them into a level one to make copper wire. Copper wire to, of course, make the electronics. Because we need, uh, for our uh, inserters, we need iron plates, electronic circuits, and stone gears. So I've got a machine over here making the stone gears. You can tell I'm just about ready to make the inserters. But the trouble I had when I went to make the elect, uh, the, uh, the the standard inserter, you cannot make it in a uh, 
in a standard automation here let me uh let me show you i think i thought i had one on me i must have used it let me uh let me go ahead and make one up here real quick remember left click picks one right click makes five uh so we just made one here now let me pop it down i'm just gonna pop it over here so it's not yeah i'll put it with electricity so it's not confusing for you uh put it down i'm going with left click on it i'm supposed to pick my tech that i want to make so right there, uh, there's my inserters that I want to make, and it requires the iron plates, the electronic circuits, and the stone gears. Good to go, right? Well, obviously not. You can see it's red out because look at the very bottom of my uh, my window here that pops up the inserter. It's made in one of the upgrade automations, so it's made in either the blue or yellow. Um, I'm sure they're called like uh, automation two and automation three, something like that. Let me pick that up. So, I came over here and I'm like, oh, Lord, uh, assembling machine one, not going to do it. Don't have the tech for it. Let's look on the tech tree for it. So, of course, I had to hunt down uh, my, uh, the, the tech uh, that, you know, lets me make this assembly machine two. And that's under automation two. So, there's my automation two which is what I'm working on at the moment, upper right-hand corner, if you'll see. Uh, in order to do this, of course, yeah, I had to have electronics. No surprise there. Um, you know, standard electronics is used in a lot of the different things that we're used to. But uh, it does allow the uh, Automation 3. I'm sure that's where uh, the uh, the next assemblers are going to come from. So i got to make this bad boy just to be able to make uh, the second level of the uh, science packs. Ah, frustration, right? Um, so I'm using a lot more stone in this di in this uh, pack. You'll notice that uh, I started off making uh, my uh, oh um, conveyor belts. Okay, so I pulled a you know I made I made a a special machine uh, just for my stone gears and um, the plates here. You know, I've been pulling plates. Uh, what do I got there? Oh, glass. Some sand must have got in. Tell you what, I'm going to pull that for the moment. I'm just going to let these ride. I don't need an extra box for that at the moment. And if that backs these up, so be it. Uh, here's what I have at the moment. Let's uh, start over here on the, uh, the um, boilers. <clears throat> so I have my pump. I have the you know, water coming in. I get that. Three standard boilers. Again, there's upgrades for that. I have my coal coming from just a single coal plant. Uh, I have a box in between. Uh, again, not the most efficient. Simply there to uh, just kind of expedite things. Um, I think this fish is close enough. I'll grab him if I can. There. Got my raw fish. Fishy fish. So, um, this is set up, of course, so I can uh, elaborate on the uh, the boilers when I go to add more electricity if I take a look at uh, a pipe uh, and we'll take a look my production is still uh, quite a bit higher I'm still producing you know 510 I'm not even consuming that much when I get the uh, secondary factories uh, online uh, that may change so I may have to I may have to rework this in a little bit this tree's annoying me all right so uh, all right so this is a, uh, a Ditec reminder. Um, let's see, we'll be showing it in an hour. Okay, sometimes what happens is like when you get an upgrade, like when I got the upgrade from the wood to the iron, a message will pop up and told me that uh, it could happen. There's other events in the world that Ditec will do. Uh, for example, like meteor showers and whatnot. Uh, so you'll want to keep an eye on your uh, post of messages over there. If we take a look at my other coal streams that I got, again, I am not streamlined by any means. I just kind of was putting this together piecemeal, focusing more on learning the uh, the thing. So I got box in between. I got this one just boxing. It's not even going anywhere. Uh, I've got pulled down for this line. So this is my, uh, my standard steel plate. Uh, again, it could definitely use some cleaning up. I could probably put more in line when I, I go for full production. But, you know, just a standard coal coming in. Uh, iron being pulled, making plates, plates getting put on the conveyor belt, you know, la la la, nothing there. Uh, I go under the coal so I can run the coal down. 
Uh, my biggest concern at the moment, considering how much stone I'm using, is I'm using small patches of stone uh, to produce my uh, my stone gears. Hopefully I'll move out of them. Uh, I'm not really sure how that's going to work out, to be honest. Uh, right now, it's just dumping into boxes, pulling for this one. I have a second stone patch here, which was convenient uh, for this one. I don't know how long it'll run. Run for quite a while. Those aren't real small patches. Uh, same thing down here. Uh, I have my copper industry going. I've got three of them uh, outputting to the uh, the conveyor belts. Uh, the copper, of course, is coming up to the... Sorry, it's getting nighttime again. I know how hard it can be to see. Uh, so the copper is coming up, and of course, to my, uh, my copper line. You'll notice I'm, I'm backlogged now on my uh, copper plates. Because at the moment, I'm only using the, uh, the copper plates uh, to make my uh, science pack ones. I was hoping to be able to uh, set up that uh, second science pack for you uh, here in a moment, just so you could see uh, what's open. Let's take a look while we're waiting on that. As far as the uh, the tech that I want to progress to next, uh, I do have my splitters. I have my underground belts. Uh, there are various chests, by the way, not just uh, even past steel. Uh, I, we're all used to the, uh, the iron and steel, but uh, going from there. Um, let's see, I showed you the uh, the boilers. Uh, you'll notice that we have sand and we have glass. Remember that glass that came off? Uh, we also have um, standard raw wood. And then uh, alien artifacts. Oh, yeah, that's from... By oh, yeah. On the, uh, the monsters themselves, there's various levels of uh, monsters also. Uh, I have it on peaceful, but that doesn't mean they don't exist out there. It just means that they won't come attack me uh, on their own. Oh, here's a uh, rubber tree. So that's a new resource that uh, we're not used to really uh, as well. And I, I haven't gotten to the level where I need rubber, but that's not to say. All right, let's do this smart. I'm zooming out. <laughs> okay, because they're all over here. I don't, you'll notice I, I haven't been focusing on armor and guns yet. Uh, I was going to see if there was any new ones here later down the road they do have uh, varying levels um, so oh here's a crystal formation uh, on that so I guess where I'm going with this is uh, I'm gonna continue uh, to play with the uh, Ditech mod if you find uh, Factorio a little on the easy side uh, even on the uh, the harder levels then by all means, uh, load up the die tech, give it a go. Uh, it's going to change the way that you have to play, uh, for better or worse. Um, I haven't quite decided uh, if I like the die tech. It is definitely more complicated. It's kind of like going from, say, uh, if you're playing Minecraft, if you're doing standard, let's say, uh, build craft only, and then you add in industrial craft and build craft, and then factorization and then forestry, and then, you know, kind of like uh, some of us do. I know those that watch my channel um, enjoy the uh, the multiple uh, mods on, uh, for example, just in Minecraft. And that's what we have going here as well. Uh, the first uh, frustration level of getting used to it passes, and then you start wondering how you could play the standard uh, without it. All right, well, guys, I am going to uh, end it here on this. Uh, oh, gosh, no. I wanted to wait for that factory, didn't I? All right, let's see what I've got set up. Uh, all right, this is going to make my inserter. And let's pretend that it is. Let's see, so I need the inserter and the transport belts. Let's, uh, all right, so inserters, um, I can do a long pole across over here. So let's, uh, let's pretend... That I have a factory. Uh, let's pretend it's there. It's gonna have to be a factory level two. All right. Let's. Um, I'm gonna leave this box going here. Let's. Uh, let's put down some. Uh, get off my conveyor belt. Let's put down uh, some conveyor belts here. Now again, I'm doing it. Probably not the way you would want to, 
uh, you would want to you know stream it across so you get a multiples going uh, for the moment though I am definitely gonna go uh, the good enough method the uh, duct tape method eh so long as it works all right so let's uh, flip that around we pull from there we put there oh man I tell you what I don't know what it is lately I've been having the hardest time remembering uh, the arrow is where this stuff goes into the line is pulling out I keep flipping them around for whatever reason um, not not making me feel the smartest when I do that but uh, eh, you know you can do all right so belts are gonna go there uh, I need a, another one right here uh, to pull and of course it doesn't have electricity either you'll notice my pulls I've just been I've noticed when I've been uh, focusing on this I've got just a rat's nest of wires going uh, all right so now we have uh, we have that research going let me um let me go to my research window so I, I should have these available now because it's researched uh, I'm not sure what I need next red wires I don't even know what red and green wires are for I'm sure I'm gonna need them for something um, goodness 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 uh, optics might be nice uh, faster belts might be nice energy could really help with the big poles and medium poles I don't even know what a medium pole is I need the steel uh, I don't have the gun turrets armor crafting man I don't know I'm having to relearn the entire tech tree right all right let's um oh man okay this is gonna require both of these science pack ones and two do I do I have any others it's just science pack one yeah okay so optics um, let's see what else what does this even require a bag of sand iron plates huh all right um, let's see what uh, you'll notice I'm looking for what just requires the uh, the red I know we came across the one the optics uh, die tech tech one requires these two produces advanced labs recycler and a compressing compressing machine I'll bet you I'm gonna need that it allows all this stuff oh goodness fine <laughs> just research that all right where was I uh, all right the belts are gonna be pulled I should be able to make the uh, second level awesome second level uh, assembly machines and then we could get these chests out of the way we'll put a second one here like I said then we'll pull the uh, inserters across and uh, be able to uh, put them right here uh, again I'll have to get rid of this factory because we're gonna make the uh, the second level uh, science packs but this way I had a couple of these uh, buffered up all right let's go ahead and pull these let's put this down right no yeah yeah right there just like that pick this pick regular inserters right and then let's see uh, let's put a chest I guess how how do I want to do this I don't like where I've put stuff now this always happens to me um <laughs> all right how do I want to do this um, you know I was gonna do a belt right Arr, fine let's just do a belt oh god this is so so bad this this kind of thing makes my uh, I don't have OCD at least I don't think I have OCD but if I did this would totally make it cringe uh, all right <laughs> let's put that there uh, and it's gonna pull them it's gonna put them here and then uh, I need a long handled oh let's get rid of this while I'm uh, remembering let's put that there and let's do this long handled bugger pole put them there of course you need another electricity pole because I don't have enough wires going everywhere all right 
Why are you not pulling over here? What's... What don't we have? Oh, the iron plates. That's right. I was going to... Pull them around like that. Alright, now I should have all the parts coming in for this. Yeah, there's my inserter. Gets picked up. Really? Really? You don't want to pick that up? You sure you don't want to pick that up? It's just right there. Alright, so what what am I missing here? Oh, I never told him what to make. That that would do it. Alright, so now I need um, Alright. <laughs> oh, we need one of those. And I just need a chest. And uh, we should be able to fill this chest now with the green. Obviously, we'll, uh, oh, gosh. <laughs> See how I hate it when I have it like this? We'll need to take either the greens down here or the reds, some of the reds up here uh, to combine them because I don't have to run them back and forth. Yay, look, we got our first uh, science pack. We'll build some of those up, and then we'll uh, start working on some of the tech that requires those. So I think this is giving you a pretty good idea of the uh, the fun slash frustration that can happen with the uh, the die tech mod. I'll uh, I'll definitely uh, play around with this some more. Maybe clean up my uh, my assembly sessions uh, before I go bonkers, uh, living in the the rat's nest of wires. And uh, we'll give it a good playthrough with uh, without being on peaceful mode. Uh, and uh, with that, I should eat my fish. I'm trying to remember how do I eat my fish? I know that you can. Let's put it in the first slot. Maybe that's what I need to do. If I press number one. Oh, how about if I just drop it on me? Did that do it? That probably did it. Remember, it heals you up a little. I wasn't hurt anyway. So, all right, guys. Well, with that, I'm going to let you go. Uh, again, once again, uh, Factorio with the Die Tech mod uh, per request. Uh, somebody had requested to see it. Uh, and I wanted to go ahead and cover it. We'll do some more of the plain Factorio as well, uh, amongst others, next time. Thanks.